I'm just sitting here drinking some nighttime chamomile tea just before I sit down and watch Downton Abbey. I like art, romantic trips to the park. Um, I'm also a Satanist. It feels good, tastes good, it must be mine. Um, it's something that I am. I've, I've, I've given up my life to him. And um, I just want to share that with you guys. I'm definitely 100% not trying to be different or trying to be trendy. You know, it's not always about trying to seem cool. Um, I did write that the other day on my typewriter. However, I just want to be true to who I am and choosing a religion is not necessarily um, about spirituality and coming together with a divine God, with a divine purpose. Sometimes it's about what makes me look good and what's pretty cool to say at the time. Um, you know, like saying the word kawaii, that's pretty cool, it's Japanese. Today we're going to be talking about Simply Kenna, the most unoriginal girl on YouTube. She's been caught up in a lot of plagiarism claims and has also penalised others for copying her style. Y'all ready? Hmm. Let's go. Uh, just wait till I catch you in the dark corner, you will get the damn good beating. Because we're from Britain, okay? We don't spill tea, we drink it. <coughs> yes, it's your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you whimsical creatures. Today we're going to be doing a completely different video. Something landed in my inbox today and I was like, holy crap, why hasn't anybody spoken about it? Maybe there needs to be one. Maybe there is only one person who can tackle this. That person is Petty Page. I am trying my best to serve you some hipster looks. I've got my hipster glasses on. I've got this scarf that's overly too hot for hot British weather. And I'm wearing my boyfriend's big jumper from Giacomo to give you those Tumblr star vibes. But seriously, I am absolutely boiling up, so I can't, I can't be serving you these looks any longer. Oh. Today we're gonna be talking about Simply Kenna. No, not Simply Nessa, Simply Kenna. She's caught herself in quite a bit of controversy, but before we talk about that said controversy, I'm going to be telling you exactly who Simply Kenna is in 60 seconds. Simply Kenna is a 21 year old YouTuber from America. Simply Kenna is a YouTuber with over 870,000 YouTube subscribers. And her Instagram account has over 480,000 followers. She has a beauty, fashion and lifestyle YouTube channel of which she talks about being a Buddhist and vegetarianism. Before her shot to fame, she used to spend a lot of her time writing poetry and making artwork to be shown in art galleries. I can't, I, I can't, I literally can't. Oh my God. <laughs> She originally became noticed online for her minimalistic Instagram photography. Is this even a thing? Oh my god! Simply Kenna was born in Southern California and has a rabbit named Fern. I'm losing the well. This is how this is how I died. This right here is how I died. Simply Kenna is known mainly for her DIYs. Some of her most notable DIYs are her Harry Potter inspired. DIYs. Now that that's out of the way and I officially hate myself, 
Let's talk about why we're really here. Simply kind of earlier on this year, found herself in a bit of controversy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why on earth are you talking about this right now? The reason I'm talking about this right now is because this wasn't really talked about. I mean, there are over seven drama channels that I can name right now, and not a single one of us covered this story. So just like Superman, cape flaps in wind, that's what I'm going to do. This is a public service. I don't know where those glasses were supposed to go. So this story stems a very long way. So I thought the best way to show you would be to give you a list of how to be the very worst kind of hipster. Number one, preach a religion that you have very limited or basic understanding of. Well, becoming a Buddhist is probably the easiest part. All you have to do is decide to be a Buddhist. And what you do as one is just basically practice the Eightfold Path. There's not really any rules to Buddhism, but there's kind of like a guideline that could help you become a better person and live a happier life. Even a simple wiki how search will show you that there is definitely more to becoming a Buddhist than just deciding to and following the Eightfold Paths. So I don't know where she's going with that, but I mean, as you can see here, it's blatantly obvious that there is lots more to becoming a Buddhist and a lot more to learn between cherry picking what it is that you want to do and what you don't want to do. Unfortunately, honey, that's not how religions work. Yes, that's right. Choose a religion. Any religion. Talk about several key ideologies within the religion and say how easy it is. So when people call you out for being insensitive to a couple of practices that are within the religion, you could turn around and say, everybody needs to get over it. Why? Because that's your religion. Not thousands of years in the working. You. Your religion. I think that if you want to take something of significance to another culture or ethnicity and stuff like that and you took the time to learn about its significance and respect it and stuff like that, then I think it's fine if you adopt that into your own culture. I think it's only cultural appropriation when you are taking something blindly and not paying attention to the significance it has and you're just wearing it as a trend because it's cute, you don't even know what it's called, you don't even know what it means, then I think then I that think it is cultural appropriation. Now, most people don't know this, I certainly didn't, that Buddhist heads are actually disrespectful to the Buddhist religion. You would know that if you were practicing that religion properly and truthfully. However, when confronted with that information, she told one of her subscribers that Buddhist community should just know to get over it. You know, not thousands and thousands of years of oppression. That Buddhist community should just know to get over it. I just can't. I can't get over it. I can't fathom how she can think that her ideologies are more superior to that of years and years of tradition. However, I digress. There is absolutely no problems with being a spiritual person. You know, adopting certain parts of certain religions that you think would make you live a better life. There is absolutely nothing wrong with cherry picking in that sense. But then don't call yourself a Buddhist. If you're only going to take part of that religion, you can't call yourself a Buddhist. That's just my personal opinion. I imagine if I was a Buddhist who was doing things correctly, taking on the traditions, reading books, taking up meditation, going over to temple and doing everything that I was supposed to do to be the best Buddhist that I could be, seeing somebody kind of take it on, kind of, and not really giving a crap about what it means to be a Buddhist or the history and tradition that goes behind it would absolutely infuriate me. It's infuriating me now, and I'm not even a Buddhist. 
Number two, have no comprehension of racism, racial slurs, and how it impacts and oppresses certain groups of people. Yes, you might not fully understand the past of a racial slur, but continue to use it to its fullest because, hey, it doesn't offend you and its history lies somewhere else. Well, the G word is actually a racial slur. Here's the thing. The G word does not mean someone who's free spirited or likes to travel a lot. Similar to the N-word, the G-word is a racial slur that's been historically used to uphold the oppression of an entire group of people, in this case, the Romani. Unlike the other phrases on this list, the consequences of the G-word are still felt today. Romani continue to face discrimination worldwide. In 2009, France deported over 10,000 Romani people, and these days, many are no longer nomadic because of laws that target them. The last Romani regulation law to be repealed in the US was in 1998. And across Europe, they're often denied housing, jobs are forced into substandard segregated schools and are too often victims of hate crimes. And that's not even touching on the movies and reality shows that use this nasty slur to misrepresent the Romani. Look, I'm not here to tell you how to talk. But understanding where these words and phrases come from is an important part of understanding how racism and oppression have shaped the world we live in today. But you, as a Turkish American mixed young lady, cannot take ownership of that word. It's not your word. Can't take ownership of it, okay? Can't just use it just because you feel like it, okay? It's up to them. They, they get to decide. Are you Romani? Are you Romani? Didn't think so. So it's not yours. Okay. Number three, be a complete and utter hypocrite. That's right, your aesthetic might be about minimalism and not having much, and you know, in Buddhism, material objects are not the kind of things that we need to hold on to and dwell on. It's about what's in your life, what makes you happy, and only keep the valuable items that make you happy. Oh, no, 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 no. Have an entire channel dedicated to having things. Although you're unique, have everything from Forever 21. The hipster effect, when anti-conformists all look the same. Number four, plagiarize images and artwork. However, don't credit the artist at any point, but expect everybody to credit you for your subpar, half plagiarized pieces of work. What is life? But everybody is a copy of someone. Everything she does is a copy of someone. Yeah know the story young youtuber by Emilia Penessa Emilia Penessa I might be butchering that name but there's a young youtuber called Emilia who did post a picture of something that Kenna had drawn and did not credit her for it she was absolutely ambushed and abused in the comment section of all of her videos as well as all over Instagram for not crediting Kenna. I admit I'm a basic white girl. I drink Starbucks, I wear Ugg boots and a TNA jacket in the winter, and I love listening to indie alternative music, but I also listen to Drake in The Weeknd. I admit that I do those things, but I am nothing like this girl, and I will never be anything like this girl, because I do not condone this type of negativity and anger to be put towards another human being, a human being, a person with feelings. I would never, 
ever allow that to happen to another person. I think it's disgusting and just horrible. If she wants to consider herself to be a villain in her own story and that she doesn't care, by all means, she can be that person. But I am nothing like her. And I'm so thankful that I realized that. And I realized who the true person that she is because I would never want to be anything like her. Yes, I did get inspiration from her. I went a little too far, but I have come back to myself slowly and surely throughout the months. I am myself. I am my own person. Her constantly saying that everybody's copying her and that she's her own person. Let's take it into example. There are millions of things I could go on about. I can make a whole other video about this. But Kenna, did you credit the original artist for this? Did you credit the original artist for this? But how about this? Oh, remember the last time when you stole this? Oh, okay, I get it. So it's like one rule for you, but a completely different rule for everybody else. Right, got it. And number five, constantly drone on about your own originality, but have absolutely no originality. And then send your army of hipsters out to people who have not credited you correctly. People's horrible comments. People were calling me a whore and a slut and a B word, a C word, which was just completely profound. They told me that I should just go back to slutting it up and being a whore because it worked better for me to be a basic white girl. Everything that they've said has just been downright horrific. I cannot believe the words that come out of people's mouths, but the worst one of them all is someone told me to kill myself. Really? And if you think that's bad, there is also a second YouTuber called Lunastel, I think that's how you pronounce it, who has a very similar aesthetic to Kenna and Simply Kenna's fans went and attacked her viciously for a long period of time throughout her YouTube career. She has only got 4.5 thousand subscribers. She is not big by any means, but still, she is a threat. Probably because she's a little bit more authentic than Kenna, but that's just my opinion. I think she does it well. Now I know a lot of people are going to be upset with me for not calling out her aggressive behaviour and nasty slash mean tendencies when it comes to replying to her subscribers who have genuine questions. Unfortunately for me there just isn't enough receipts to sit there and point the finger and say she's not that good of a person. From what I can see 90% of the time in my opinion it's just been a genuine misunderstanding. However when a young lady such as herself practices a religion such as Buddhism, sometimes I feel as if it's probably not necessary for her to speak in the way that she does or in the manner of which she does. Buddhism teaches a lot about holding your tongue and keeping the peace and not rising to confrontation. So it seems that she puts a lot out there into the world to be interpreted or to be confronted and then somehow tries to play the victim card when people have confronted her. However, with that said, I am not afraid to read a bitch. And it wouldn't be a petty page video if I did not read Miss McKenna. As in all tea, all shade, honey. This whole entire video was to show Miss McKenna that it is so easy to do what she does and it's so easy to be hipster, cool, unique, aesthetic. She is definitely 100% not original. Right off the back, just by searching a few keywords, I was able to find five different women who look exactly like her. Roll the clip. Basically, I talked about how I am an introvert and it ended up just getting into like a spiral downward of like personal stuff that I've dealt with. I have never been much of a pessimist, so perhaps that is what leads me towards the false promises of the second stage. that most of her artwork is inspired by, if not heavily, influenced by other artists. 
Even some of the tattoos on our body have been found to be from WikiHow or simple clip art images. There is 100% nothing unique about this young lady. I searched into the internet, vintage Tumblr girls, and found 50 million different girls that look exactly the same and do exactly the same things that she does. Simply Kenna to me seems like that girl in uni who is a lesbian the entire time until she graduates and then settles down with a stockbroker called Kevin and has boring s for the rest of her life. She seems like she's constantly trying tantric s with her Filipino girlfriend whilst in a polygamous relationship with another girlfriend who identifies by the name of Kitty. They seem like the kind of trio that would go to a spiritual healing concert in the Himalayas and experiment with acid at Burning Man. Like, I am so over that entire aesthetic. The truth of the matter is, is that I have met a billion girls like her and they are all the same. They are never fulfilled, so then they clutch to the next fad because they want to try and find themselves because they never truly know who they are. Taking a simple stroll through this lady's Instagram will show you how many phases this young girl's gone through. I don't truly believe she understands or is really comfortable with who she is. But that's just my opinion. So tell me what you guys think. What do you think of today's story? Do you think that this Simply Kenna character is somebody you're gonna watch out for? Because aesthetically her videos are absolutely beautiful to look at. Or do you think that she's just another ununique, unoriginal hipster that's on the internet once again preaching about a lifestyle that she has absolutely no idea about? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, I don't give a sh anyway. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys get a notification every single time the Petty Page posts new content. I personally think that Simply Kenna is just finding herself and I'm sure she'll find her feet one day but just maybe not today. And although I have read this young lady for filth, it is all in jest and I hope that she doesn't hate me because, you know, the rest of the internet already does. Simply Kenna isn't original to me and I know billions of girls that I went to university with who look exactly like her. But don't take my opinion for it because I'm... Just petty. Too much money in the bank. I ain't trying to play no games. Fuck, I hate to go on sack. I be on my hustle all day, little bitch. Stay in your place, motherfucker, I'm paid. Too much money in the bank. I ain't trying to play no games. Fuck, I hate to go on sack. I be on my hustle all day, little bitch. Stay in your place, motherfucker, I'm paid.